I'm sure lots of people have memories like this, but I remember as a little one, if I ever cried, my dad would say, stop. And I would stop, you know, repress. And I would learn to, you know, put a smile on my face and just continue on. The trouble is, this, these emotions, they work underneath. What we repress operates underneath. And because it's repressed and becomes unconscious then, it's actually steering the show. It steers our lives. You know, these emotions that come up are actually a form of intelligence. It's a form of information. And when we feel our emotions fully, we become more. Uh, I'm not talking about drama. I'm talking about, you know, being present with whatever emotion you're feeling and just being with it rather than trying to fix it or trying to repress it. Just being with it. You don't have to act on it. You know, over time, you can learn to be present and just present with your emotions and not necessarily acting on them. So when you do that, your intelligence goes up. Actually, it's not even emotional intelligence. Your overall intelligence goes up because often, you know, with these emotions, there's um, a message from our soul that wants to come to us. It's like if you feel uh, anger and you just feel it and, you know, let it go, but you don't repress or try to control it, if you just keep feeling it, what will happen is it will bring you to love. It will bring you back to love. It's like why, you know, war will create peace. And, I mean, we've had, you know, about 60 years after World War II of the most beneficent uh, peace that, you know, humanity's ha had for a while. So, I really, you know, I would love to see emotions given more credit and being more valued because they are an aspect of our, of our intelligence. It's, you know, more on the female aspect of humanity, which is, um, you know, at this point in time is not maybe valued as highly as the masculine aspect of humanity. That's just where we are in our evolution. But, you know, as this changes and the female aspect is seen as more valuable because, you know, the females give birth. And if no female gave birth for 50 years, that would be the end of the human race. So the females just is as important as the male. You know, if you look at natural life, the female bear is as important as the male bear. So as our female aspect is more valued, hopefully we'll come into more respect for emotions. And again, I emphasize I'm not promoting drama, but I am promoting the full feeling of whatever you're feeling <laughs> and learning how to stay present with it. And it's an art and you can learn. Yeah, you can. It's amazing what we can learn to do if we steer in that direction. If that is our goal, then, and it's a sincere goal, it's amazing what can happen within even a year. Anyway, bless your hearts.